everybody it's Mickey and in today's video we are finishing up our Christmas decorating I have all the details for our annual Christmas card exchange I'm sharing the winter 2019 deco created box and a quick and easy chili recipe for your freezer so if you are new here I hope you will subscribe I put out new videos every week about all things home so with Thanksgiving so late in November this year I have been really hurrying trying to get all of my holiday decorating done because I want to share it all you know in one of the um, holiday home tour videos but I have been working on tiered trays and this one I just got done this is one of those tiered trays from Target that were out this fall and I love the way it turned out and it's perfect right in the spot in my my kitchen next to the refrigerator and it has some really special things in it for me this little girl right here is one of my little knickknacks that I had when I was a kid it has a tiny little cookie um, dish from Ray Dunn this is a salt and pepper shaker and I have one of my favorite little Santa ornaments back there I also finished up this tiered tray earlier this afternoon as well. This has more of like a hot cocoa theme and I am using those um, lights from the Target dollar spot that I showed you in a haul not too long ago. So the one tray that I have left to do is for my front hallway and I'll show you all the things that I have set aside um, that I might want to use. So these are all the things that I have set aside to go into the tiered tray out in my front hallway. I found this tiered tray at Marshall's. It was only $16.99, which I thought was really an excellent price for it. It's galvanized metal. It has this little loop here so that you can carry it around. And I also like that it had, you know, little feet underneath of it so it rose up a little bit off of the table or the counter wherever you put it. And some of the things that I have set aside are that little red truck that I found at Target this year with the two trees in the back. This red reindeer I found at Home Goods probably five, six years ago. I have some bottle brush trees. I have a Ray Dunn candle. I have one of my little gnomes here. Um, I have a really cute marshmallow sign that my friend made for me. I have one of those little gingerbread like houses um, that I found at the Target dollar spot. I have this really cute um, primitive mitten that I've had for years. And this is a sign from Bailey Branches that I found on Etsy. I'll try to remember to leave a link to her on down below. But this is all the stuff that I'm gonna try to get into this tiered tray. So I think what we'll do is we're gonna move it out to the hallway and build it out there. So here in the hallway is where I want to put my little tiered tray. I have my farmhouse Christmas sign that I found at Kirkland's as kind of a backdrop here on the table. I have a little black and white placemat on the bottom. So I think this is a really good size for out here and I'm gonna to start to build it and see what we can come up with. What I like to do is start off with the three biggest pieces. And so the reindeer, of course, is the tallest. So he's up on the top here. And I have my little red truck down below. Now, even though he's a big piece, I still put under one of those little pedestals that were at the Target dollar spot this fall to give it a little bit more height and let it show up a little bit easier down below. Once I get everything all put around it, you won't even notice that that is there. So next I'm working on sticking the little signs in. Now I have this one down here. Um, I'm going to be playing around with that one a little bit though, but I have my Merry Christmas with my red truck sign up here and I want something to kind of boost it up a little bit. I don't care if it's there on an angle. I kind of think it looks cute there, but I need something to stick under there. And that is the thing that I walk around my house and I walk around my house looking for little things to stick under. And I found this little bowl in, um, in my china cabinet. I used to use this for salt and pepper at the holidays, you know, at each place setting, but I think this might just be the right size to stick under there and boost that up a little bit. 
So down here on the bottom, I have added my little gingerbread house that I got from the Target Dollar Spot, and I thought it needed something else a little bit larger. So I went ahead and I put my uh, Ray Dawn Believe mug in this spot here. And I have some candy canes in here, and I think I'm gonna put another one of those bottle brush trees tucked in there. So that'll make me have to put my sign up a little bit more in the back there so you can see it so i am on the hunt again for something to add to the bottom there to boost up my little sign so for now i think it is all finished i really love the way that it came out i have my little wool ball garland tucked in here it gives it a little bit of color and then every so often i have one of those little bulbs with the um pine tree inside peeking out. So I'm really liking the way this is looking. I'll probably be fussing with it over the next couple hours this afternoon and then I will show you what it looks like when it is all done. I have always loved Christmas cards. I just think they are such a great way to reach out to those friends and family that you don't see all the time, to just to let them know that you're thinking about them at Christmas, you know, give them some updates on the kids and what you guys have been up to. I just think it's a really great way to keep in touch. So this year, while you are writing out your cards to your friends and family, I would love for you to send me one. I'm going to leave my address and where you need to send the card in the information bar down below. If you send me a card, I will send you one right back. Send me a picture of your kids or your dogs or just a note to say hello. So this will be the third year for our annual Christmas card exchange and it has really become one of my favorite things to do during the holidays. I really love connecting with all of you. So please send me a Christmas card. I would really love to hear from all of you. Don't forget to include your return address so that I can send one back to you. Over the next couple weeks before the holidays, I will be sharing some of the cards that I receive so this way we can spread a little love around. So I hope I hear from you. Check the information box down below for the address where to send your cards to and I will send one back to you. On the way home today I swung by the post office and I was so surprised that I had these two packages waiting for me and I just had to share them with all of you. The first package I want to share is from Janet and Dee in Texas and everything in here was all hand done by them. This card is so adorable. As you can see it's so sparkly and sweet. It has a cute little snowman on the cover. They had such a nice note inside and I am just so grateful that you guys enjoy the videos and you're part of our community. And then on the inside um, they sent me three handmade holiday items. This first one is for you know those pocket tissues that we all carry in our purses and everything and they just get all junky <laughs> down there in the bottom of your bag. So this is a little carrying case that you can reuse and it's all dressed up for the holidays. And then they also sent me, this thing is adorable, and I think this would be such a fun gift idea. It is a little apron for your soap dispenser, you know, by your sink. And all the detail on here is just incredible. It has a little lace trim and a um, red tie, and this is just so cute. Like I said, I think it would be such a great gift idea. And then they also sent me this beautiful apron for me to wear and it would be just perfect throughout the holidays you know while you're baking cookies in the kitchen it has you know santa in his sleigh and all the reindeer and snowflakes and i just love it this is such a busy time for everyone and just the fact that you guys thought of me really means a lot and i just love everything that you sent and i'm going to be sending you out a card in the mail really soon and the next gift that I got is from Patty from 
um, Florida, and she sent me the most sweetest note that it actually brought tears to my eyes, and I just think it was just kind and thoughtful. And she sent me these two tiny little Merry and Bright Ray Dunn mugs for my collection, and I love these little ones because I like to put um, the little um, bottle brush trees inside and set them out throughout the house. Thank you both so much. Thank you to Dee and Janet and to Patty. And I never want you guys to um, think you have to send me something. Honestly, I hope everybody participates in our Christmas card um, exchange because those are the kinds of things that I really love to receive from everyone. That is two wonderful things that I found in my P.O. Box today. We are going to be making chili for dinner and I'm also going to make a little bit extra so I can put it in the freezer for you know one night during the holidays. I originally wanted to um, do this recipe in the crock pot before I left this morning but I just did not have the energy so I'm going to do it this afternoon here on the stove. So I have myself a big old package. This is 48 ounces of ground turkey which is three pounds. I have... Um, a can of dark red kidney beans, a can of black beans, I have a 28 ounce can of crushed tomato, I'm going to be using a jar of the picante sauce, and today I am even using just a regular old packet of taco seasoning. So first things first, I'm going to get this turkey browning in my pan and then I will start on the sauce. So I have my turkey browning here on the stove. I have my big stock pot all ready uh, to start making the sauce and I have my ingredients ready to go in. I have probably shared two different chili recipes um, here on my channel. This one though is a super simple, really quick to put together recipe that I have used to feed whole Boy Scout troops. This is the one that um, I usually make to feed um, big family gatherings and it's the one I want to put together so I have a little bit extra in my freezer that I can pull out during the holidays for a really quick um, work night meal. I have all of the ground turkey in with my sauce. I've added some sugar and garlic powder, a bunch of different other seasonings. I am gonna put just a little bit more tomato sauce in here to give it a little bit more juice to cook around in. So that was probably almost three quarters of a 14 ounce can of tomato sauce. I'm gonna stir this around and then I'm gonna let it simmer. While the chili is cooking away, I thought this would be a really great time to share with you guys my 2019 Winter Deco Crated Box. It just arrived a little bit ago, and I'm really anxious to get inside and see what it is. If you don't know what Deco Crated is, it is a quarterly subscription box that is full of home decor for the season. There are about eight different products in this box. Everything is just packed beautifully, so it arrives at your home safe and in one piece. So I am going to unpack this box and I will show you everything that came. Such beautiful things in this quarters box. I have it all laid out here on my island. I have my little booklet here that'll tell us what everything is. And I have to say the thing that stands out to me the most is this beautiful blanket, which is in one of my favorite colors, but we will get to that. So first off, every box you get an art print, and this one is adorable. It's always two-sided, which would be perfect for you to frame, put it on your desk, or if you are a planner like I am, this would be so great tucked into your planner. You can laminate it so it lasts forever. But I really love the little poem that is on it. And on the other side has all those, <laughs> all those wonderful things that you find in the wintertime, like gingerbread men and scarves and hats and mittens. So this is just adorable. Next up is this beautiful pillowcase. They have one in every box that I have gotten so far. This is really cute for the winter. It has all those really cozy sweaters that we all like to snuggle up in. And I can already tell this is something that I think will be going um, back with my daughter to school after the holidays because these are all her colors that she loves the most. But 
These have really great zippers on them and all you need is a filler that you can easily find on Amazon or if you're like me, you have them around the house anyway. One of the things that Deco Created does so well is tabletop decor. And with this shipment, they're sending you this beautiful tray. It's all made out of wood with metal handles and a metal distressed base that I think would go with so many different decors. I really would love to see it with farmhouse decor, which is what I have in my home. And you can use this for so many different things for a side table, a kitchen table, a coffee table, and they've also included some beautiful ceramic trees in different shades of green that you can put on the tray or in anywhere in your home, especially, you know, during the winter months. Pine trees are my favorite trees anyway, and I could think of so many different places to put these during the holiday and even after the holiday. Also included are these four wooden tags that are just beautiful on their own. I guess you can use them as an ornament for your tree, but I already have a great idea for a DIY that I will share with you once I get all my materials together to make them. Also included is this really cool galvanized metal mail pouch. I just love things like this. If you've seen my house, you know that I really love galvanized metal anyway. And I can see using this just full of flowers in the springtime or just leaving it as is. I think I am going to be putting this in my den on my little white ladder that I have in the corner. Once I decide, I'll be sure to show you guys where this ends up. I always love when they include their framed two-sided prints. On one side you have this adorable little stocking cap for winter and then on the other side you have a sweet saying so that you have the chance to use this all year long somewhere in your house. And the last thing you get may be my favorite one of all. It is this beautiful woven throw in the most beautiful color green. As I said before, green is one of my favorite colors and it's one of those neutral colors that you can put in almost any room and it just seems to ground the space. So this is gorgeous. I have a lot of green in my den and this will go just perfectly and it's so soft and cozy. It will be just perfect for those long winter nights. So this is everything that I got in my deco crated box. I am going to leave all kinds of information for you in the information section down below on how you can get one for your own. I highly recommend it. I think they have such beautiful quality items and you will find yourself reaching for them again and again. The chili is all done and ready for dinner. I have half set aside and cooling on the counter waiting to be put in the freezer for a busy night meal. Thank you all so much for watching today. Remember to check out the information section down below for all the Christmas card exchange details and please don't forget to subscribe. I will be uploading my 2019 Christmas home tour in just a few days and you really don't want to miss it. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have. Be kind to each other and I will see you again soon. Bye!